Yeah, that's right, Chris. And uh, I know that may seem a little odd that we're talking about that on the same day and the same couple of weeks where we've had a chance of storms every day. But yes, some places in the upstate dealing with abnormally dry or now a moderate drought conditions that are starting to develop out there. And one statistic that you mentioned, Chris, that we normally look at is the percent of normal rainfall over the long period of time. And those are down a lot of across a uh, big chunk of the upstate, namely down in Anderson and Lawrence counties where we have that moderate drought that just began. So let's take a look at that. So in Anderson, since May 1st, we're only running about the about 56% of our normal rainfall since May 1st. And, and if you go to just June 1st, it's even more dramatic. Just half of our normal rainfall since the start of the meteorological summer back on June 1st. It's definitely dramatic. It's definitely the haves or the have nots in terms of who gets the rainfall. In Lawrence, it hasn't been quite as bad since May 1st. Only about eight. We've had about 81% of the normal rainfall since May 1st. And since June 1st, that's 57% of the normal rainfall. And up here in Greenville and Spartanburg counties, not quite as bad with 93% at the GSP airport since May 1st and 76% since June 1st. Main reason for that is exactly what we're dealing with now. Summer thunderstorms, they're much more erratic and they're pretty short lived. There's not a lot of wind shear in the atmosphere to help push these storms along so they can rain themselves out in one or two hours. They can be very heavy and then very light in a very short amount of time. So uh, for that reason, we have a big spread and who's seen all the rainfall and who hasn't in the upstate. So that'll be the trend for at least the next couple of weeks until we get more cold fronts going into the fall and the winter. And uh, speaking of cold front, we have that lower humidity on the way this weekend. Chris will have more on that coming up in the forecast in just a bit. For now, reporting live in Greenville, meteorologist Griffin Hardy, I'll send it back to you.